All right, so you ready for a uh, for a fun segment that come up out of nowhere? What's up? <laughs> How about Goldbound tier list right now? Um, ah, yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I put much thought into this. Good. Yeah. Ah, oh, have you? Good. I'm glad. Um. All right. So. <laughs> So uh, I decided to find a website and make uh, get this tier list up. So uh, um, cities don't include. <laughs> <laughs> Very well, I'll throw that in there right now. We gotta go alphabetical here. Sure, sure. Yeah, alacrity. Oh, what do you think? Because as you can see, I've put it like you know. Alacrity's pretty strong. Yeah, it's, I would it's, say it's, it's strong, yeah, but it's not peak. It's, it's not peak. You add it has it, it's tier. it's. It's very effort intense, I would say, in that it has a lot of toggles, it has a lot of things that are bursts that require effort, uh, and it doesn't work on a lot of overland travel, except for that one gift, so I put it at strong. Gotcha. I suggest you add another tier below don't include called cities. <laughs> <laughs> As you can see, I kind of created a spectrum where um, don't include is just like the bin where you just go, we just don't deal with this word. OP is where we put uh, right. stuff that we don't include because it's overpowered specifically. You know? Exactly. But like, yeah. you know, for example, uh, where is it? Like desire, that's going and don't include, right? Because <laughs> yeah. we, we just don't fucking use it um, because we don't. Well, run I guess a game I guess that he's, that he's probably just goes into the OP then. Yeah. Um. Yeah, yeah. You know what? Cities that goes in OP. I think very few things don't go you know, we don't put desire in OP, for example. It's the reason why I included no. this category. It's the bin for yeah. stuff that's, you know, yeah. Right. Not um but I, I guess we'll go alphabetically for the sake of sanity. Okay. Uh Artifice, I would say is peak, peak, but it's your choice. Oh, peak. Peak, peak yeah, for it's sure. fucking peak, obviously. It's got so much utility. And it's it's that's also one of the few words that has both an attack that's gift that's and that's an AC an AC three gift. And it has mm -hmm. a load of logistical power, and also like fifty percent of so, all the mechanics so in the system are based on so using it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Artificial intelligence. Uh, I usually I put that in the don't include bin. It doesn't fit into most campaigns. Yeah, we haven't um, actually. I think that we are kind of experts on running this game. We've never bothered with a sci-fi campaign, <laughs> so it, yeah. we don't include it. If you were obviously you're running like a space game, you would, but I guess we'll just run under the assumption that you're not running a sci fi game for the post this list. Yeah. Beasts. Um, strong with combo, Agreed. I would say. It has, a lot, it has a lot of synergy picks. It's really good at tracking people, uh, and it has mm -hmm. some interesting yeah. synergy, but it, by itself, it's pretty dog shit. They, uh -oh. I'm going to be really interested to see where one, my PvP words have gone, and two, <laughs> Uh, where the words that I think are the most fun have gone. Right, yeah. Uh, birds. I, I'm very torn on birds. I want to say birds is OP. Um, mm. In part, so it, it, it's got a lot of reasonable stuff where it's just like some things that have other words, like you can shapeshift, but into a bird. And it's like, well, look at beasts where it's just like you can shapeshift into any animal. Right. The, I... I don't know if it, it I don't know if it drives the whole word into OP route, <clears throat> but what gets me is that gift where it's just like you can summon birds that can only be killed by AOE magic weapons specifically. Oh, I did not know about that. That's pretty filthy. Um, that's pretty bad because that means you have a mob of death. Um, <laughs> like. Additionally, uh, also, I would say that that gift that gives you really powerful eyesight out of vision range means that, or out to like the horizon, means that you can justify your that as being like, well, I could use my gifts out to the horizon. Then I can just look at somebody who's like thirty miles away and snipe well, them. You know, but then again, like, it's supposed to be natural guess, vision range, right? Yeah, I was about to say like natural vision because sun has the same thing kind of going on. Um, I, I, yeah, I'd say it's probably. Like at least peak. I don't know if it's OP enough to ban, but that 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 the death the death mob bird thing has me very concerned. <laughs> right. I haven't looked at it, so I couldn't really say. I'll let you let's choose. Or we can flip it yeah, let's, let's pull it up. Yeah, yeah let's you pull know it up. What? We can it. Let me let me find. Um... Yeah, let's, uh, let me. I can bring up the PDF. I can stream the PDF. Maybe. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know what? You you do that. You do that. Yeah. Uh, welcome, Nost. Welcome I'm to not. the Goldbound <laughs> tier Perfect. list. <laughs> All right, yeah. Let's 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 bring this up. Um, let me bring up my Adobe what, Reader. What prompted this? Uh, nothing at all, really. I mean, like a conversation with with yeah. David is about the long and short of it. 
Now, if I switch these tabs, is it also oh, showing yeah, the Godfather? Yeah, I can see the. I can see both. It's all good. Perfect. Perfect. A way to go fuller screen with the stream. He could just zoom in on stuff that's interesting, I guess. All right, we need to we need to zoom in on birds. We need to get a good look at it. Yeah, there we go. We can read clearly. Do I All need right. to catch one in the forest nearby for the bard sword? <laughs> All right. So we got we got some decent passive effect. It's just normal flight, not even like the jet plane flight. Get out of sky. It's just right. a nice little. It's a thirty foot movement speed. Yeah. Birds won't harm you, but only non-magical birds. So, like, if a rock shows up, it's not gonna like delete you. Yeah, you know? or it's not gonna be unable to Welcome, delete you. Welcome, Pepsi. We are doing the I'm Godbound perfect. word tier list. <laughs> good, Ladies good, good. and gentlemen, come More on. More opinions. Good. Come on, come on. Um, show me this overpowered gift that you're so worried yeah, about. Yes, so the overpowered gift that I was bringing up is well, Maker well, of Wings. At least it's a greater gift. It is a greater gift. Commit effort for the scene. The Godbound can. Create up to a small mob of mundane birds, or summon a large mob of the local within 10 minutes. The mob's fighting statistics are immediately that of human soldiers, except with 60 foot fly, uh, limited powers of manual manipulation, and immunity to all non-magical damage sources that would not kill significant numbers of birds, uh, such as spear thrust. Um, you only get one mob, mob at a time, and changing what they're doing, but like, say, just telling them attack, they'll just keep attacking. Yeah. Um, so functionally what we have here is a small mob, like, at, least, at least it's a small mob, of at least it's flying small, but if soldiers. You have, if, you have any, if you have any sort of prep time, um, and because they're constantly loyal and, and... Oh, it is to the scene! No, hold on, that's actually to the scene, I didn't notice that. I didn't notice that. Yeah, so at least you have to commit effort for it. It's only a small mob, yeah. small mob. but it is a mob of flying soldiers, basically, right? Because it's the same yeah. stats as soldiers. So exactly. 60 foot movement <clears throat> speed, flying soldiers who cannot be killed by anything except for, like, AoE. Yes. Um, that is pretty strong. I, it is a greater gift, though. Now, yeah. Now, I, I, I misremembered as well. I thought it was also, like, I thought it was just flat out um, all non-magic damage, and I thought even the magic damage would also need to be AOE. Right. Um. So that was actually a misremembering on my part. I, I not as bad as I thought. I still think it puts it into a strong category, but oh, it, yeah, yeah, maybe this, not OP. I yeah, would say OP. this word is strong because I'm not looking. So it doesn't seem to have any really great uh, offensive gifts, and it doesn't have an AC three gift. And uh, does it have a teleport? Um, so it has. Um, it has a teleport, a teleport. We're after we start plunging over here. Okay, cool. Uh, oh, jeez, if they're a lesser foe, the god may, may, may instantly disembowel them. <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> I love it. Oh, jeez. That's fine. <laughs> you know, that's fine. It's only your lessers. You can kill yeah, just, lessers in a lot of ways. So, you know? yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm like gonna... a farmer's in a field with his son, and they're farming around, like, how are you doing? For, for the remainder of the scene, you can no-clip next to them. That's really, uh, yeah. that's really strong. But um, yeah, we'll say I, that it is strong by itself, yeah. but it's not peak. Yeah. Like it's the game isn't going to be it, broken it, by the bird's wood. Yeah, it's shape shifting has standard limitations. Its mind control is good, but it's less than a lot of other ones. Yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, cool. I mean, even its greater flight. Now that I look about it, it it's the same as Sapphire Wings. Hmm. Uh, like as a greater gift. It, it has some extras to it, but... What's this Godbound tier list? Tier. Yeah, yeah we're doing a Godbound tier. Woods tier yeah, list. Yeah, I'd say Birds is strong. Yeah, I'll right. say Birds is strong. We put it in strong. So what about Bo? Uh, Bo, Bo is peak. Yeah, Bo is absolutely I, I peak. You on that one. Yeah, Bo is I'm sorry, I couldn't yeah, help but I notice. Yeah. I couldn't help but notice. Why is Desire at don't include? Because it's the fun uh, because... Desire word. And we don't want to run yeah, e we don't desire, want to run no ERP campaign. Yeah, yeah, what's, yeah, the, you know, what's the other one and don't include? Uh, that is artificial uh, it's intelligence. In artificial intelligence. Why is AI not, in, well, not allowed? I actually don't know. It's Name one campaign where it's been usable. 
Yeah, Fair. for it, the most part, it's, 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 it's mostly because we just don't run sci-fi campaigns. This is yeah, a very yeah, biased yeah. list, it, but then it, again... It, to, it to be honest, the I could have used that in the PvP game, but I only read about it way before it's, after it started. So. Right. Oh, God, yeah, this is the thing. Is now like, I'm using the AI, AI word no matter what. You, playing you, chat GPT <laughs> next game. So you could say this list is biased, but on the other hand, since we are probably some of the only people on the planet... Um, sorry, the planet should give a shit about this game and actually play it a ton. Um, I, I do agree with not including Desire, but I don't with Artificial Intelligence because you could theoretically still you could evaluate it. I, I would argue then that at the bare minimum it's just in bad without a high-tech setting because it has some self-sufficient yeah. things, yeah, but the what? vast majority of its gifts are complete. I, I've I've read read right, it, it's, it's only good with pretty but you need the setting that allows it. So, in, if the setting allows it, it's peak, because you can hijack spaceships, you can <laughs> hey. do all kinds of junk, you can build phylacteries. We'll put it in the storm of combo, combo, and the combo being a the sci-fi combo game. Is the campaign. <laughs> yeah, sure, sure. Command word. What do you think? I want to say strong. It's. I, I would nor I I would say peak personally, but I've heard I, a lot of opinions on it doesn't have like direct firepower in its own right. Yes, the, um, I would it's make good the... if you invest in the greater gifts. I reckon. Unfortunately, spending two points could be spent on some absolutely broken shit. That's yeah. minor gift. So that's the thing. Actually, I would make the <laughs> argument that it's strong with combo. The reason being um, that by itself, it yeah. doesn't give you any passive logistical stuff that's like buffing. Mm -hmm. Like, it, I guess it buffs mm -hmm. factions, but it doesn't give you uh, like tons of resources like the wealth or fertility. True. Word, word. Yeah, no. um, mm -hmm. It doesn't have any direct ability to do a lot of damage. All it really yeah. does is buff soldiers and gives you a few unique that's things true. to do with factions. And, and its strongest moments are with proper setup. So I guess strong with combo. Because yeah, you can set things up like infinite soldiers and ten miles and stuff like that. Really? But I guess it really does. I think the yeah. strongest ability it has is just the thing you get for passively having it, which is the ability to communicate with any creature. Anything. <laughs> it's it, weirdly strong in that circumstance, but I think that it's oddly like flaccid. It, you have to build around the command word. You can't uh, just go out yeah, oh, yeah, throw it in. Like if you think about, <laughs> yeah. for example, the bow word or artifice word, you can throw that into any uh, character and it just makes the character better, you know, by itself by a wide margin. And anyway. command is damn near outclassed by sun. We'll get the sun. <laughs> yeah. Right, yeah, yeah, exactly. C command is also really strong if you combine it with sun um, and artifice. Then you get like a really nice uh, NPC buff build. But, you know. Also, dance. What do you think about dance? I, um, I have not read dance, so. I think dance is at the very least strong. It's I got agree. some inter it's got some interesting stuff to it where you can like lock an opponent into your rhythm where um they can't attack anybody else. Um let's see where was it? <laughs> Let me take a look. Oh maybe that was music. Maybe that was music. Yeah, I believe that was music actually. Oh, dance and music do different things. What? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's quite odd. Yeah, they have a they lot do. of overlap. But... They do combo? combo pretty well. They do. Yeah. Who would have guessed? So it gives you um, really good dexterity or charisma, which is really nice. Yeah. And it has yeah. all these other mm -hmm. weird abilities and stuff. It's it's odd, but I feel like it's strong, even though. It doesn't really have... I don't think it has... Oh, it does have an AC3 gift. Okay, that makes it at least... Yeah, it's, had, it's had an AC3 gift. It has a um, travel gift, overland travel. It has a straight damage to mobs effect over here. It has uh, structure destruction going on. You can dance so hard you just start leveling buildings around. Yeah, actually, I think I remember this is one of those gifts where its structure destruction is almost better than stuff you get in Earth. Um, yeah. And you also well, yeah, get basically a yeah, hundred a hundred foot per character level. Jeez. Yeah, I would say level, just for that level, level level three. That's a football field. Yeah. I like. Yeah. Yeah, I would Which say football? just just for that gift alone, and also the fact that it gives you high dex or charisma, and it gives you AC three. I'd go so far as to say that it's maybe like uh, it might be peak possibly. 
Yeah, no, no, that's fair. You know, I'm going to move it up to fucking peak because it's... it's... Oh, jeez, wait, hold the phone. Hold on, what is it? (laughs) Invincible against anything that would impede motion, even magical effects, just everything. Yep. Any any paralysis, any restraints, gone. (laughs) I I see, that's something that I vaguely remember, but I forgot about, you're right. Um... Yeah, I would say it's bordering on OP, but it's just barely in the peak category. I like the. No, I, I would say peak. I would say peak. Yeah, yeah. it's definitely peak. Um, death. What do you think? Lich King um, exists, so death is worthless. <laughs> well, who loves mm, Lich King? Though? Not, not quite. Not quite. Um, but also, death has a bunch of cool stuff you can do with it. Um, I would probably hard. say I would say maybe strong with combo, but I don't know. So the thing is, <clears throat> I think it can pull its weight even on its own. Because uh, no release is one of the biggest support things in the entire game. Oh, you're Just right. to say, like my team member over there, he is not dying. Not like unless unless you have a dispel effect, uh, he's he's not dying. Simple as that. A uh, reaping word. I know it's save reliant, but if they fail that, it doesn't matter what it is. You can kill a tyrant with that if they're out of effort. You know. Yeah. You can um, get some fun, spooky, scary skeletons and stuff. Um, uh, it has got, an attack gift. <clears throat> yeah, you got logistics. You got an attack gift. No yeah. AC gift. I no would definitely say gift. that it's it's definitely not peak. I've never seen a campaign where I'm like, ah, no. oh, the fucking death word is you know it really driving me crazy, <laughs> you know. But um, um, it's it's strong, definitely. And yeah, I would agree. It's definitely beckons. Its scaling is absolutely insane because you <laughs> like. Because you can just <clears throat> flood Wardrogger, like, for a point of Dominion apiece. Mm-hmm. Um, like, we saw what the Bats did over in, in, in Chaos God campaign on that end. Um, yeah, no, yeah. yeah. Um, now, Deception, I, I would say Strong, it belongs in Strong, definitely. Yeah, um, Strong. Deception strong. is is and there might be some disagreement. I think it's at least sh- strong, and maybe maybe it's possibly peak. So I love it. <laughs> yeah, the the only and, reason I say that is just because it's like if you have the deception word, anybody who isn't like a, a murder word user or like maybe a knowledge god user, I think even knowledge doesn't trump it, right? Like you just can't track down the deception god <laughs> user. It can even circumvent some of the sun effects, which is wild to me. Right, like, there's a load um, of stuff in the book that just says, oh, even, you know, you'll be able to use this to reveal uh, anything, except for a deception user. So, um, I don't know, it's like... A, a, Shadow, Shadow play has absolutely amazing, because you can, you can mimic anything. You can't even do, like, the normal illusion thing of, ah, smell, you know? It's like anything but touch, right? Right. So, like, you can, you can run so much interference around that. That is a cover creation gift. Like, even if it can't make things invisible, it's like, yeah, you know, I'm just going to create a sh- uh, an illusion of a wall and now they can't see me, you know? Right. Um, like, if I move five feet over here behind this 30-foot wall... It- it's kind of funny. It uh, has no It has no AC3 gift. It has no attack, as far as I remember correctly. But it has... No. It's it, it's one of those things where if you add it to your character, I guess we could say the peak category is any word that you could add to your character that instantly makes your character like twice as potent just by having that <laughs> word. And deception yeah, easily maybe. fits that bill because it's like, oh yeah, I'm doing like a logistics character. Well, if you've got the deception word, then um, now the violent enemies cannot find your logistics character. Same with like your infiltrator character. Same with even your violence-based character. The deception word is useful. Like it's, it's oh yeah, yeah. Paxton. Paxton was a, a, a huge <laughs> example right. of that. Um, <clears throat> you can pull junk like a familiar face over here, where you just inevitably blend into a crowd of people. Right, uh, exactly. and the amount, the amount of junk you can do that slipping into a populace through the roof. It's great for scouting, it's great for offense, it's fantastic. Desert. Um, <laughs> what do you think about I this? can summarize Desert. Nice uh, setting you've got there, GM. <laughs> Would <it> be a <laughs> shame. OP. As be a, a, the literal terraforming nuke. Yes, uh, OP. Yeah, I agree. Oh, yeah, it's got, got insta-kills, it's got... Uh, <laughs> want me, to, it's want me got... to save some time and put the other terraforming nuke gift or word up there? Yes, Just winner, probably OP. Yeah. Uh, it's got insta kills, it's got uh, uh, terraforming. It, it, it's, it's, it's too much. It's too much. Yeah. 
I would say Dragon is peak. I don't think I would ban Dragon outright. Dragon, I wouldn't. Dragon Dragon has never caused issues in any tested play. Yeah. It's it's peak, but it's not uh, broken. Yeah, it's, it's really strong. Just that. Yes. Yeah, exactly. just the strong. Yeah. Earthward. Earthward. Um. I would say it's at least strong because it, it it allows I'm... you to like dig through terrain and build. You know, like build or mountain um... peaks by itself is pretty fucking great, and it boosts your stats, and it has an AC three I... gift. And... <clears throat> I would kind of say strong with combo because Ooh. so you can build a ton of stuff with it and it makes you very durable but a lot of times to actually execute plans with it it's it's more of what it does to your other abilities and works true it, but it i would say that, like time in the like building stage of a construction yeah i guess like it i would say that it's pretty good by itself but you know what i i, I guess i'll throw it in the oh, it, it's everyone, a popular it, everyone, it, it does save everyone you feel free to give a pitch in on it, this by the way <laughs> It does save you one slot because the AC3 gift. That... This is true. Yeah, no, it has no AC3 to... and it boosts your stats. You can like use it to boost That's your combo. True. So That's I would true. say even without like a combo, it's just nice to slap onto any character. Yeah, yeah, you yeah, know that's fair. It's got strong. This is kind sure. of this is kind of what I've uh, perceived the strong category as is like it's good by itself. It doesn't need anything else. You know, you don't necessarily yeah, need. It. You can that's combo true. with it, but it doesn't need to be comboed. Endurance. Yeah, that's... <laughs> endurance is great endurance is beautiful yeah. honestly oh i i think that we can all agree peak. that it's peak like the funny thing is there isn't anything about it that makes it even peak where i'm like oh it's no. so fucking powerful it's just that whenever you've got any character you're thinking god i really want to yeah. slap endurance on this motherfucker you know what i mean it's <laughs> almost mandatory right. i paxton was getting jacked up most of that campaign mm-hmm and then level four, I was like, no, forget this. Multi class. I'm not <laughs> grabbing endurance. Multi classing into endurance. Uh, I'm, I'm swinging over for endurance. Immediately conquers the continent, basically. <laughs> right, because it's like, hey, you I... never need to sleep. You never need to eat. You don't need to drink. You're also immune to all environmental effects if you pick this AC a... gift. Uh, a a yeah. maid god can just. Oh, Pepsi's gone. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> Technically speaking, if your effort pool is full, you can, and Maid God can do a full attack sequence against you, and you're going to be tapped out of your effort, but you're fine. Well, it depends uh, what you, you mean, right? Because if it's... So what you can do is you can make yourself... If you've got that greater gift, you make yourself immune to all physical damage until the beginning of your next turn, right? Isn't that the case? So in yeah. that case... Um, yeah, that's right. I, I was sub- just even just thinking of Defy the Iron, but yeah. Oh, right. no. Yeah, but if you've got the greater gift... That means that mm-hmm. um, y- you can, yeah, any attack, yeah, if you've no, got yeah. five effort, you can survive five whole rounds of a maid god wailing on you. Wailing on you, yeah. So, no, yeah. I, I do agree to everything except to the greater gifts. I think they are all, almost underwhelming. Except undying. Undying is cool. <laughs> well, oh, undying is great. Um, the elemental ones that lock out a damage type or an environment, you can just chill in a volcano comfortably. Um, yeah. like, uh, the only thing I would do is give Undying, like, the ability to just, yeah, you exhaust all your effort, and it, it changes your, um, theory to, you survive anything, and you appear dead until you otherwise <laughs> want to. Did Pepsi yeah, so leave? I, I, yeah, yeah Pepsi he left. left, yeah. He's playing Fear and Hunger, or he was. Weird. Okay. Um, uh, that's cool. I like that he's he's so into it. He doesn't even need to stream uh, it for him to play. That's fun. He's probably he's probably going to come back once we're done with this. Um, uh, so just quickly, uh-huh. um, Tyler, that thing you're worried about sequence break is not a thing that's supposed to happen. Um, oh, no. yeah. Uh, it turns out we're being stalked by that person, but we have no context for what it is. Well, I do now because I had to look it up. But it's funny. Okay. Got you. Um, and off. I'm off bed because I'm tired oh, and the whiskey's doing its work and I'm no longer yeah, sick. Yeah, no, you know, Alright, I, I, threw, I threw engineering in strong with combo just because it's the same as artificial intelligence. I... <laughs> yeah, yeah, the combo yeah. being a, a, a campaign. If, <laughs> if it's allowed, art vice engineering, you can basically do anything. Right. Yeah, yeah. Engineering, you know what's funny? I, I kind of wish we had a campaign where somebody could use engineering because I love that gift where yeah. you can make an inanimate object sentient. That's just it's, so fun. It's totally pointless, but it's really fun. Yeah. Engineering, the same problem with our 
AI, it's the thing with engineering. Like yeah. I could have used, I just didn't remember. Yeah. Uh, entropy. Yeah, so... Oh, entropy's busted. Yep. Entropy's absolutely <laughs> time <laughs> manipulation. Okay. It, it. You can you can negate uncreated for some reason. I you you can you can absorb any gift ever used. And uh, you, also, just... it gives you an extra. Pull... Yeah, you can just yeah. boost your effort pool to be way bigger than other people's. Uh, yeah. uh, for some reason, I, I, <laughs> it's very odd. Yeah, it's just very powerful. Um, I've never, heard, I've never had someone play Entropy and and not be trying to get one over on me. Yeah. Uh, in that like anyone picking Entropy is being awful. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Is that the quality of entropy? Or... <laughs> I say it's more so. Yeah. Of the person. No, I'm kidding. Yeah, it's it, that's what entropy tends to be. Is it's like the player wants to be OP and win win every fight. Um, also, fairy queen. Um, fairy, fairy queen. Fairy queen. I read it, and I think it's the weakest of the concept words. Which really yeah. isn't a bad thing, because concept um, words are inherently stronger. Right. So it raises yeah. your charisma to nineteen. That's neat. Um, that's really. You know, that's the only that other point. nineteen. But yeah, compared to my yeah. Mm -hmm. But my oh my, to get it does my... give you the downside where you, you're weak to cold iron solder items that are consecrated, which is pretty rough. That that's why it's like yeah, it's the weakest one because it um... actually has a weakness. Let's let's take uh, a look. It has, it has an attack. That's cool. Um... <laughs> If you see oh, who points to summoning gift for overland travel, that's neat. You know what? That um, that uh, attack gift might be one of the best attack gifts I've ever seen. You see which one is it? Your gaze. So Sounds it's it's a regular attack, but you ah. can control somebody for twenty four hours. In fact, that's actually yeah. basically worm within, right? Yeah, it's ba yeah, yeah, yeah even better yeah. because there's no way out. There's no save. There's no. Uh, kill condition. And there's no until limit. You, let you can just die. do as many people as you want. Uh, now, the, now the limit is 24 hours after they've been hit. But yeah, yeah but you could um, just that, say, "Hey, come back to can... me, and then I'll get you to zero hit points." Yeah, yeah, it, yeah. You kind of can. You can um, kind of uh, as long combo as you, it infinitely. You kind of like keep a dungeon full of people ahead of time, prep them all, and then march them as a swarm. Yeah, you just have to kill oh. your followers once per day. I also remember that this uh, wood has that bargaining gift where, like, you you. Oh yeah, gold. so maker, maker. I, I was waiting to bring up maker of bargains. Maker of bargains is one of the few insta kills in the game that there's no save or anything. You just die. Yeah. Um. Yeah. If someone breaks the deal with you, they die inevitably. Instant, inevitably, and instantly. <laughs> so I would say the fairy queen is at least strong. I would say yeah. strong. Yeah, strong seems strong. good because it's not overpowered per se, but it's pretty fucking strong. Um, and it gets stronger with other charisma based words. Mm -hmm. Yeah. As you immediately have a plus four to everything charisma based. This is true. Fear. Fear. Right. Um, it comes in layers. Fear? <laughs> it's, fear's, fear's weird to me, honestly. Um, yeah, it's a weird grab bag of that stuff doesn't make any sense. Um, where so like, isn't it supposed to be a manipulation gift a, a word like other? So, so like, take a look at this. Like, lesser foes with a modified morale score of six or less are too intimidated to attack you. Uh, I was looking through the beast theory and. I, I think that just means normal peasants. Yeah, basically, peasants That's... cannot attack you, which is like, you know, uh, peasants okay, aren't really yeah. an issue. You're not playing Godbound and going, yeah. oh no, we need something to do with all these peasants if only we had a um, means of dealing with them. If, if this word had things that lower the morale, like for you just being there or for you doing things, that would be good. So, yeah, that's, so that's the. So weird. I would put fear. So, as far as I remember, I think I would put fear in the st strong with combo category because, for the only yeah. reason that it targets morale checks, and um, there are very few enemies in the game that are immune to morale checks, you could technically defeat a maid god with this. Yeah, ability. Technically, it's one of the ways to take out a maid god. Yeah, and I remember um, there's, there's because stuff it, in like morale down to like, like I think something like nine. Uh, yeah, like so just if, you, 
if you build your character around targeting enemy morale checks and stuff, then fear is super powerful. But if you don't, then it's really garbage. So I'd say strong with combat. Yeah. What do you think? Yeah, yeah, I think that's fair. Strong with combat. Fertility. Yeah. Food is infinite. I, I would say fertility <laughs> is strong. For my, for my thinking, yeah, From, it's uh, I, I, it's a logistical powerhouse. If if it's a, it's got cleansing gifts. It's got infinite food. It has a thing for killing someone's entire family. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fertility is so, fun, but it's definitely not. It's not like fertility. super powerful, you know. Yeah, fertility is the endurance for godbounds who want to run a actual community. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Um, well, you like so, you've yeah. got to pick it up for that reason. Sure. Uh fire is I would say probably the definition of strong with combo, I would say. Um yeah. In I that, think yeah. that's all the element. I, I don't know. I, I, I kinda just think it's strong. Um Ooh. it its rebuke effects can delete a vast mob by the time they finish their attack cycle on you. Uh it has <clears throat> like some of the best crowd control in the game. Uh, it can burn basically anything 20 feet by 20 feet every round. So, like, if that's a wall, that's not a wall. There's no wall there. Fair enough, yeah. Uh, uh, it's, it's Frey Die is, is out to earshot uh, at all of them. <laughs> it's not even, like, it's not it's not a foe within earshot. It's all. Uh, you know just, what? Just, I, yeah. I kind of agree with you, yeah. Um... I would say health okay. goes in the same category. What do you think? Oh yeah, yeah for sure. Yeah, yeah. It's it's just beautiful. It's a nice little kicker. Insects um, is totally insects. fine except for one fucking gift. <laughs> yeah, it's <laughs> whatever really gift you be talking about. <laughs> it's really normal until the one one point gift. Issue. Is yeah, actually yeah. fucking horrible. Whenever, whenever somebody picks insects, I'm immediately like, oh boy, I wonder what gifts they've chosen. I wonder what the insect, gifts are going to pick. You insect, know what it's it's the would. biggest culprit of lesser gifts being better than greater gifts. <laughs> and why? <laughs> insects are going to put in peak, if only because we've never outright banned it from a campaign, right? Like, it probably should be just for Worm Within, but we're going to put it... In peak because every it has been picked in every damn campaign I've ever every ran and they've always every picked game. Worm Within. I you should I do. Yeah. Yes, you should get Worm Within. Just like a screenshot of just Worm Within and put it into <laughs> right, like, yeah. a yeah, the, the, Worm Within goes an OP and an insect is in like maybe <laughs> at that point insects would go down to maybe strong at best, maybe, maybe even strong with combo, but with yeah. With Worm Within, it's at peak and should I probably look, be an OP. Look, look at the greater gifts. They are not only smaller look. in tax size, but also worse. <laughs> yeah. Look, all I'm Worm saying, Within. these two are the same. <laughs> Half of these gifts, Tyler, are the fucking same. Um, it's 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 so redundant. And straight uh, up, some are straight up useless. Like, the flies leap, look at that shit. Oh no, dude, Fly's Leap is sick. I thought it was going to be useless too, but it, it is some nonsense, because A, it's a reaction that instantly moves you 30 feet, and it has a specific caveat that any attack launched against you when you reacted, done, gone. Any targeting on that location, useless. Um, yeah, as so long as the AOE isn't bigger than uh, 30 foot. It also, yeah. yeah, and I know this is a side tangent in that I, like, this is this only applies to maid gods, but if you ever meet a maid god of insect, you are dead. Inevitably, because the second it perceives you, it can exist next to you permanently now, because it can teleport an infinite number of times in the same six seconds. <laughs> It's ridiculous. An instant reaction movement action. Yeah, it's pretty good. Yeah. So you're saying that to make Goku, you need insect. <laughs> you need insect, yes. Yes. <laughs> you can instant transmission if you have uh, infinite effort with that, yeah. Intoxication. Um, intoxication? Um, intoxication has one gift that's very clearly overpowered, where uh, illusions become reality, which means you're now a god. You know, literally, you're not a demigod. You are a god because you can imagine things, and now they are real. Yeah, I, I, I would say it's peak. Um, yeah, I'd say it's pretty peak. It's, it also has, it has a million other cool gifts. It's you know? got mental immunities. It's got ways to make anything into drugs. Anything. 
Yeah. Uh, it has a teleport gift to any drug addict, I, which is <laughs> very niche that you think, really you think it wouldn't be. Uh, it has netted so many kills, uh, because you could just say, <laughs> like, anyone's a sleeper agent, all of them. Yeah. And then if, if a combat ever, if you have intoxication, you are never going to be part of a TPK. Never. Yeah. Ever. Um. Oh, uh, also that technically speaking rules is written allows inter-realm travel? Horrendous. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you actually cannot be killed because you can own reaction teleport to a, a drug addict somewhere. Yeah, you can yeah, go to another dimension drugs, and get but, some drugs. But as long as you are peddling drugs interdimensionally, uh, you can you can travel into them interdimensionally. Yeah. <laughs> just, just picturing um, like you're sitting there and there's just like a bag of weed drops down in front of you. You're like, like, hey, look at this. It's time. Yeah, the, well, yeah, so um, the, the, the intoxication god by default also has infinite drugs, by the way. So he just has like an infinite yeah, bag yeah, yeah. of little baggies of weed. So yeah, he can just mm -hmm. walk around and just throw them at people and be like, yo, here's yeah, a it, drug. It, it, yeah, it has um, like a remember, right? it's like enough to it's enough, yeah, it's enough drugs for a literal army mm -hmm. uh, at any time. Um, now, as for Jimmy, now, and I also sorry. want to push that it has another insta kill gift. Um, so. Right. I, yeah. I'm, I'm also just a really big fan of Bad Batch. Uh, Bad Batch is wonderful. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Journey yeah Journey is um, to me the Journey. definition of strong with combo, but I'll allow you. Strong with combo. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so with combo. remember when I said that fertility is endurance, but for a group, uh -huh. journeying is alacrity for a group. Right. Journeying. Which uh, you is... Which is not necessarily bad, but I would agree. It's like, yeah, if fertility is one lower than endurance, then journeying is one lower than alacrity. Yeah, I think the only thing in journeying that's like really cool and really draws me to it is the thing where, oh, you know, you see any entryway or magical barrier, you can just open that shit. And that's uh, no. uh, re really fucking good. But everything else it does is just sort of okay. Uh, knowledge is a, a, a tricky one to classify, I think. It's a very tricky one, because it has a lot of very conflicting things in it, honestly. Because the, the gut only... initially goes, ah, strong with combo, because it doesn't have a ton of things. But the thing is, I've seen knowledge sway literal entire campaigns with what it yes. says. It's, it's totally it, it depends on hero. two factors. Yeah. The player um, and the GM. <laughs> it, it, it can contact the GM for knowledge. Uh, like, <laughs> like, like I'm almost tempted to just put it in strong itself, but I don't know. But it is, actually, you know, it has to be strong with combo, right? Because the information is useless unless you have other yeah. gifts to use it with. That's, so it's definitely yeah, yeah, that's combo. true. Yeah, because it can't act on a lot of the stuff with it. But, but I yeah, would say, I would say, unless your DM is it's really the, bad, knowledge is really yeah. useful. It's really yeah. good at getting literal knowledge. Shit, the dealing with it. But, dealing with it. I, I think the epiphany of that, or the epitome of that, not epiphany, the epitome of that, the, yeah, epitome, yeah, um, was there was there was a boss fight in Jungle Game where uh, Nick read the weakness of a boss and then realized he could do nothing about it. <laughs> right. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> oh, oh yeah. Nick Nick was an unfortunate godbound. <laughs> <laughs> Lich, yeah, he, think... was, he was Artifice, oh, Earth, and Knowledge. Oh, yeah, Lich, Lich is pretty... Let's go to Lich. Lich is pretty wild. I it's think got... it's pretty yeah. fucking peak to me, but I'll I, tell you. I think it's peak. Yeah, it's, it's got, at, it's got a life... Look at what it gets by fucking default. Like, before you pick yeah. up any gifts, AC3, existing. Constitution raised to 16 yeah. to 18. Doesn't yeah. need to breathe yeah. or eat or sleep. Just yeah, like it's default. Armor class, a straight up tree. No yeah, gift. It, it, it's so weird. It's so weird so, when it comes to its passive. That, like, that's three lesser gifts right there as a passive. There, and also, there is every a gift goddamn it has reason is a why I say that this completely invalidates death. Uh -huh. <laughs> and it's just everything it gets by default, and everything you can get for one point. <laughs> yeah, every gift in Lich King is a banger, and it's not necessarily that Lich King is is so OP that I'd ban it. Although I wouldn't blame somebody for doing that, but like every gift it has is just really fucking strong. It's yeah, it's 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 powerful enough. I I I sometimes I don't do this to every campaign, but I found a really fun caveat to add to a campaign 
is that I let people take it on level up if they can actually find how people become liches in the setting. Oh, that's a good way to do it, yeah. And as you yeah. see, it does recommend in the description that they have a weakness, so at yeah, least the there's, there's something going on there. But Lich King is definitely peak. Um, it's almost, it's it's right on the absolute cusp of slipping into OP, like one more gift, unbalanced gift, and it would just easily if throw it If the phylactery but... didn't have a six-month cooldown, it'd be going into OP. Yeah, yeah. if the phylactery um... worked like it does in D&D 5e, where it cannot be scried, uh, so you're just immortal. Like if you just throw the portal, any or if you just throw the phylactery anyway, you're fine. But I yeah, also, um, I also like that it has to be a locus of your life, so you can't just go. This marble mm -hmm. is my, this marble is my phylactery, you know, <laughs> or this grain of sand is totally my phylactery. What do you think about luck? Uh, I. I I kind of want to, like... I, I, so, luck, luck is funny, because it depends on how lucky you are, as well. <laughs> a little bit, yeah, a little bit. I, uh, what you think, in strong with combo, maybe? This, this, this may be unpopular, but I actually kind of think luck is peak. Interesting, because... why is that? So, if... so, unfailing fortune, natural one on any die they roll, uh, includes damage dies. So, uh, you are boosting your damage output immediately. For every attack in an entire campaign. True. Especially uh, um, if you do, what is it, uh, the Wrath one? Like the, the general Wrath? We oh, use yeah. One, like, oh, one yeah, you are. You are <laughs> any ones <laughs> on any Wrath? That's, uh, that doesn't exist. Yeah, which means um, that you're so guaranteed you... to do at least one damage per dice you have. So if you're a level 5 character, you're dealing at minimum 5 damage with your Wrath. 5 damage, so. yeah. Um, Blighted Luck when that sticks to someone is horrendous. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> um, salting away the luck is is like uh, it's pretty solid in that you can you can be a you can swing any situation or manipulate any situation. Uh, nine lives it makes it incredibly hard to kill your character. Um, literally twice as hard to kill your character as a standard one in normal combat. Impossible victory can be really funny depending on I, how you use it. <laughs> the fact that impossible victory refunds itself yeah. after it's been used. I was thinking um, like luck is only good if you combine it with shit, but I'm kind of agreeing with you. I'm going to throw it in peak. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, because it's like the fact that it refunds itself means that you just stare at the GM, look into his eyes, and say, I win. I, just, yeah. I think my favorite moment only... was when I used it against Sean as the GM, where an NPC right. used it against him. <laughs> no, it's really funny because it says by blind luck. So the yeah. GM has to come up with a way on how his big bad how evil guy winning? stumbled down the stairs and broke his neck. <laughs> right. Yeah. It's a slap um, in the face, and it's one of the best things in the book. Beautiful. And, uh, like, part of what swings it for me is just that it refunds itself, too. Yeah. Because I get its one use, but the fact that you then are able to choose what to do with those points is, is beautiful. So, Madness. What you thinking about Madness? Madness is a real weird one. I, I, I want to, like, I haven't seen com it. I think the counterpart to Fear, like, I haven't seen the two it of them play? work together. I've seen it in play once. Um, where somebody used it to destroy like a fortress or whatever, where they just drove everybody in the fortress mad. So it's pretty, it's it's decent. Um, yeah. Probably. Let's take a look. So, okay, we got we got our what's our passive effect? Let's see. Um, no, none. What? None, I guess. Oh, oh, here we go. No, um, oh, no, no, defense. Defense against emotion. That's pretty cool. That's very strong. Yeah, yeah that's that's neat. And then uh -oh. any any attempts to use those abilities. <laughs> Basically, do like not quite a full wrath, but a soft wrath. You know, that's that's funny. I, but before that means we continue, you, yeah. before we continue, oh. nice formatting, uh, fucking Crawford. You put the ability in the <laughs> wrong spot. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Like every other gift puts it at the bottom. Yeah. Um. Yes, that's that's really good. Um. But the thing is, like, a lot of the stuff locks... And I get you can cause mental illnesses, but a lot of it needs mental illness to begin with. Now, I think it could combo really well with fear. Yeah. And yeah. by you start with fear, cause paranoia, and continue with madness.
Lesser, lesser foods? What? Cure? Well, that's just the cure. Yeah. Yeah, it's kind of like a very elaborate form of mind control. It's it's like command yeah. or passion, but like really fiddly and and weird. Uh, I would say it's it, at it best can theoretically. Strong. It can theoretically fuel itself, depending on how well you do it. So you you infect a f infect quote unquote a few people in a settlement, and then start spreading as everyone starts <laughs> going mad. So it's theoretically it's passive mind control. <laughs> oh, that's right. It's, so it's the only two pager. Yeah, I was like, because I, I remember what you were talking about. Yeah. Um, I kind of just want to say strong logic. Combo? Strong combo, maybe. Yeah. Insane logic is pretty funny as well. <laughs> no. Um. I think this one of the things where it's unknown enough that I'm going to throw it in strong with combo because I'm like, I, it's, I think I remember it being decent. It's not totally garbage. It's not outright right. bad, but it is fiddly yeah. and awkward and requires a lot of setup. Uh, Might is is pretty fucking goated. <laughs> I don't know what I don't know how you it's guys might. feel, but hey, kids, do you not want to commit with either type of damage? Just pick might. <laughs> right? Do you want? Hey, would you, you like can to deal... fight through anywhere would with you... everything? Would you like to deal NPC amounts of damage, right, and also have a higher to hit chance than anybody else because you're the only player with plus four to their attributes, and everybody else gets yeah. plus three? Um. So, I think. I mean, at level level three, that's already a plus seven. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I think it should have been. OP, but vengeance success and that. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I, it's, it's still it's... almost OP. <laughs> right. It's 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 so I would say there's only about maybe two or three gifts that make might OP. Like the only real loosening God's teeth is the only uh like almost OP gift that it has, but everything else in it's it was, pretty reasonable. It wasn't um, ever gonna be the OP for sure. Um, yeah. Murder is w. is Strong, I would murder say. Murder is strong. <laughs> um, oh, right. I'll write that as a quote from Marcus. Murder is strong. <laughs> murder Marcus is strong 2023. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I don't think that it's particularly overpowered. I don't think it's particularly underpowered. Oh. It's just sort of yeah. okay. Murder is really, uh, really overpowered for a PvP game. Um, oh, kinda... yeah, because it allows you to, like, solve... I guess it, it does have some utility yeah, that allows you to solve it's... mysteries. Really yeah, cool. it, it... I guess, cause, like, I know, like, some people have fixated on that, like, oh, they'll know if I killed someone, though, and it's like, well, what can they do about it, though? <laughs> right. Because it's like, you study a murder victim specifically, by the way, like, if it's, hey, I challenge you to a duel, uh, yeah. they cannot tell anything about this, you know, <laughs> or <laughs> immediately gain a full and contextual oh. understanding of how, why, and when, and by whom the creature was killed. Great. What are you going to do about it? Um. Yeah, it's it, it, murder is is good. It is not surprise. It's neat. One of its graders is basically useless because it's like, yes, yeah, someone that's completely on your side, you can insta kill. Right. Uh, Which is like that's 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 a whole that's potentially say... a whole campaign to build up to a target. Right. And don't and, and don't... that should have been vengeance or betrayal or something like that. Now don't say uh, don't say the name of the character for spoilers, but uh, you oh remember, yes, yeah. um, you remember that it's it's mostly fun for the DM to do this to have an NPC yeah. that spends the whole campaign building up trust to the players so he can try and betray and kill all of them. Trying to do them. Um, what a fun time that was. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm really glad I had those contingencies in place. It would have felt horrible. Um, yeah, I, I felt almost bad doing it, but I'm like, the fact that... It, it was my is... witch. It was my witch that kicked it off. Right, yeah. it was your witch, because oh. I'm like, well, I can't definitively say whether or not they trust him. Yeah, but the fact that you said, ah, oh, you know what we really yeah. wish? We wish that we trusted him implicitly all along. And I'm like, oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. He was always hyper-competent, you know. Um, yeah. I never will be missed. It's just kind of underwhelming for a greater gift. Mm. Um, it's like if someone already had desires to kill them, they give it a go, but it doesn't empower them. It doesn't do anything. Uh, 
and people that are loyal to them still defend them? <laughs> oh, I... <laughs> Seems kind of useless. Yeah, that's kind of... In crazy. my opinion... Um, in general, I would say murder is decent, and it doesn't need to combo with anything else, it's just pretty decent. It's the lower yeah. end of strong, I would say. Yeah, lower end of strong, yeah. Uh, music. I can't remember. I'm pretty sure music is pretty good, but it's also not overpowered. I would say that's another strong one. Music but makes you lose control. That's it that one with it a has, knife. It's that one, um... And has that one that lets you dance with someone so they can't fight anybody else? It's also uh, got another an... one of these gifts that lets you obliterate an entire building. It does? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, Which one was the one we got jacked up by? There was like something that Frog had in uh, in Ancalia that like jacked us up. The, the first um... one? Chorus Like Thunder? Maybe? Oh, cool. It gets your charisma high. You know what it doesn't have, though? It doesn't have an attack, like a regular attack gift, and it doesn't have an AC3 gift. Does oh, it have no, a teleport? Shriek of Twisted Metal right oh, here is the standard. Oh, yeah, design. so it does, yeah. Um, oh, yeah. No, metal. You hop on your car and drive into some. That's a reference. Oh, wait, what? Huh. Verse of Deathless Glory seems pretty solid. Yeah. It's just a, a bestowable on another target become immune to harm. And you don't need to commit nothing. <laughs> wait, hold on. Yeah, you know what? Uh... Hey, wait, wait, no. Hold yeah, wait, on. No, hold on. Instant your <laughs> resolution would otherwise be defeated, line them to shrug with the worst blows. Your ally is not vulnerable to sense any form of harm until the start of their next turn. You can use this power for your own benefit. As an instant power, it can be triggered oh. after damage or effects of all, but it can be. Okay. Oh, it's been, oh my goodness. Yeah. Oh, it's like geez. no effort. You just inf yeah, hey, uh, music makes you immortal forever. No, okay, good. At least Kevin knows <laughs> But the fact no, that it doesn't require effort commitment does make it still really overpowered. That means, technically speaking, you should try rushing, getting as many NPCs with that as you can. Like, like if you have any method of, of giving right. them to NPCs, try to rush it. It's, because... It is still pretty fucking disgusting. Pretty yeah, because wild. you can do it after damage. And it can be used yeah. on yourself as well, uh, and it doesn't cost effort. So even if you can only use it once per scene, it's like a free deflect. A mm -hmm. free no you. <laughs> Yeah, I would oh, say cool. overall this word is powerful. It's strong. It's not. It's yeah, not. Strong. It's not goaded mm -hmm. with the sauce, as the kids would say. But uh, <laughs> it's, okay. it's, it goes well with dance. Network is strong with combo. Anyway, uh, I, <laughs> oh boy, one day someone will make network engineering artificial intelligence and they'll break yeah. the campaign. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Night is strong. I'd say. A counterpart to Sun, but it's worse than Sun because Sun is absolutely nuts. Um, I kind of want to say like possibly strong with combo because I like so I haven't played a ton of Knight, but I've had some Knight NPCs or like NPCs, and I played Keto over in Incalio, and it's got a lot of logistical sh stuff, sure, but. It doesn't let you do a ton on its own. You can like talk to people in their sleep, sure, and you can isn't, fly, but isn't only it partially a uh, stealth war. Yeah, as well. a little bit. Probably the only actually good gift it has is the one where you're covered in a ball of darkness, right? Because it depends yeah. on how the DM is ruling line of sight based attacks. Like, where, you know, can you even attack right. somebody you can't see? But, but yeah. it's definitely That's... nowhere near as good as Sky that has the ridiculous, like, 100 um, or 200 foot, like, ball of mist that makes it impossible. And it's like flush, flush of Shadows. They can still hit you with magic yeah. weapons. I. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, you know, you're right, actually. Knight is pretty fucking weak, actually. It's pretty weak. It's, it's pretty not rough. bad, per it's se. Bad. There's almost no like, actual words in this game that are bad, it's, but... Yeah, you know... It's uh, a stealth word that doesn't want to yeah. commit to stealth. Yeah. Well, it's like, that's what's rough about it, because it's like, even your your blinding stuff gives them saves. <laughs> it's like... It's yeah, you're right. Pretty proud. Hey, I like Knight. So I've, got a cool, yeah. I've got a really controversial This is the thing. same guy who made Vengeance. He was too scared of stealth, but... <laughs> I would say passion is borderline bad. 
borderline it's it's almost in the bad category but and you know why i say that because nobody's picked it because everybody looks at it and they're like oh yeah that'd be cool i'd make people like me and then they just fucking I, can't be bothered I, with I, it. I don't even know if it's like borderline i'll be honest because even it's so, coolest it just be bad because i i think this doesn't have any effect if the person just straight up doesn't want to like you. Right. Well, I can think of I can think of combos where it's really strong. I guess maybe it's strong with combo because again, there's the idea of like doing uh, deception and passion. Right, so you sneak around and you just make people love some image of you. Oh, whatever yeah. you do, the Moon Maiden strategy. I. Th- th- here's the thing: if you have to pick everything else to work around using passion, I think it's just bad and not strong with combos. You know, I would agree, I would agree. It's really bad, actually. Well, the thing is, I've, I've never talked to someone that's picked passion that hasn't been underwhelmed by passion. Yeah, you know what? <laughs> like, yeah, right. it's like, it's best thing, oh. follow the threads. GMs just get annoyed at you and start giving you no information from it, basically. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Peak human. It's one of those things, like, in, yeah, it's oh, sorry, peak, peak, human. peak human's OP. Peak <laughs> human's OP. Oh, sorry. As much as yeah, I love to put it in peak, because it is clearly peak, it is, it's kind like, of a I, I, I've, I've had my mind changed on should you have it be the only word someone can grab if they go to grab it, but I, I just think it's OP. It looks weak at first, and then you start to, like, actually read it, and you're like, oh, it's really, uh, really good. Like it, it eventually hits to the point that literally no mortal can strike you down. You, you're Yojiro. Oh. <laughs> like, like, I, like a high three threats can still strike you down. Don't get me wrong, but I, like, literally nothing. Like, like, like. So let's pull this up. Like street sweeper, right? Uh, let's see. Like all natural. At least, it, at least in a mob, they can hurt you, I guess. But like, no hero can ever hurt you anymore. Yeah, like not nothing. Um, and combo that with all natural, that basically means you they yeah. can't stop street sweeper. Yeah, and like un un uncreated can't hurt you. It's like what's that nonsense? <laughs> like our main predatory source just doesn't count. So. What which I what I think he went with is that you need your other words are bound to an artifact or something like that. Right. So but theoretically, they can steal your other words. Maybe. Now the part that's wild to me as well is mortal's luck because that is a negation of death. Period. Your F, you can literally not die by any effect, any of them. Uh, or right. attack until your effort pool's at zero. Right. Which is what I did to you guys with Safashiva. <laughs> and that was awful. <laughs> yeah. Um, sure. Is some of the stuff useful? Yes. World greatest blank. That's use- useless, practically. Yeah. Um, the world's greatest chef. If... It's like, that's that's fun. That's good flavor. The one way Probably. the ability could be good is just the world greatest and then you can commit effort for the scene and claim you are, and then you I get guess, the bonus. I guess world greatest, world's greatest assassin or thief is busted because you'll always succeed on stealth checks against people, maybe. But outside of that, it's it's nonsense. Um, and but you could get a word that gives you not only that but more. <laughs> right. Well, uh, yeah, I... protection. What do you think about protection? Protection is just a really fun word. I'll be honest. Yeah, you know what? <laughs> that goes in strong. It's not overpowered. Yeah, it's, it's good. Um, it's fine. Yeah, it's just it's just fun. C. What do you um, think about C? C. Um, I think it goes with the other element with earth and fire. I think it's good as long as you have water. <laughs> What shouldn't be hard? <laughs> is it strong with the combo of water? Is that? No? I wouldn't. Uh, no, I don't know. So, because it can create its own water. Like technically speaking, like it has some water creation stuff. Tsunami hand can just be used anywhere, even in the middle of a desert. <laughs> like right, yeah. Like sure, River Tamer is going to need some water. I I think it's funniest thing. I think it's strong personally. 
Yeah, we'll leave it. I think its strong. funniest thing is walking with the tide because as long as the tides are connected, you can just teleport any distance. Oh yeah, it's really strong. And so and so, the, if you hop into any river, you can go into any other river. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. yeah uh, full disclosure: in the jungle game, some of the NPC max just had walk with the tide. Horrendous. So they would just slink into the ocean. Like Sean got attacked by one. Where it just slinked into a river, popped up at his river, smacked him in the face with a torpedo, <laughs> and then bapped out of there, and he was just sitting there like, where did that come from? <laughs> Half of my health is just gone. <laughs> sky. The sky word is easily peak. Easily peak. It's borderline overpowered, but we're going to put it in peak. It's beautiful. It's, it's peak, so absolutely. Sorry, I gotta ask, think are What's up? No, 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 Nost, go. Nost is actually the, on subject. So, the only thing I disagree is that the all other elemental words aren't strong, and sky being in peak bothers me, but it is strong. It's stronger it's, than yeah, the others. Yeah, you, you, can just, you can make a, like, 100-foot radius of mist around you so that nobody can see you, and then fly around and throw light yeah, no, no, no. and freeze During... People. During jungle game, I realized how broken that shit was, because my hero had clouds below and storms sort of realized, wait a minute. I, I think the funniest moment with Sky to me is that Sky Gods aren't immune to the bubble if it's another Sky God. Right. So there was this hilarious moment in Nesdova where there was an infected Sky God versus Tristan, the Sky God on the party, and they both just kind of hovered next to each other, would hit each other's bubbles. And immediately we're taking each other out of the fight, basically. <laughs> because they couldn't target outside the sphere anymore with their gifts, but they also couldn't find the other person. <laughs> <laughs> what do we think now of that's sorcery? Fun. Sorcery is... Sorcery uh, has three really good gifts. I, oh. I, I... <laughs> that's very true. And every other that is true, yeah. I I'm very biased. I love sorcery. I, w I want to say it's peak because of how many options. It's like a Swiss Army knife in that it can it helps any character style. It is, yeah. To some extent, though, um, I don't think I've ever hmm, sorcery is. I would say maybe peak, but also I would say... it's not that good in direct combat at all, and its logistical yeah. shit isn't as powerful as gifts that are dedicated entirely to being logistical. Oh. Yeah, when I think sorcery, I don't think, like, that's the best power. I think it's a good fucking enhancement. Right. I would argue yeah. it's strong with combo, because yeah, it's a good combo know. for everything. It's got a ton of like combos. I would say, yeah. I'm going to compromise and say it's strong, because it, it is good by itself, but it's also good with combo, and depending on how you use it, it can be peak, so... If sorcery it, has one thing, so that they think it's the one, only one that has more than one useful greater gift... As if both <laughs> adepts are good, while oh, most yeah. others have just one good greater gift. I'm just, like, yeah. any good party oh, should yeah. have at least one sorcery god. I'm gonna yeah. put some in, in OP only because Kevin Crawford himself <laughs> OP said it's OP. <laughs> when yeah. asked in a Reddit at AMA, what is your greatest regret, he responded, son. <laughs> <laughs> right, and like, yeah. if it was up to Why? me, I would put it in peak, because I would say it's as strong as Sky, I'd say they're on par with each other, but because Kevin no. said it's OP, I'm putting it in OP. No, it's not even close. Sunder uh, everything. Oh, I mean, right, actually, yeah, I mean, Sunder's everything, you're right. Like, purging, purging so Noonday Boys. The only way Sun would be nerfed yeah. is if it actually required sunlight, but you emit sunlight, so what the fuck's the point? <laughs> yeah, you know, I would say that if it wasn't for purging Noonday Blaze, Noonday Blaze Sun would be uh, just, it would just be peak, but with that, it's uh, OP. And that was his that was his clarification as well, is that his, his biggest regret is basically purging Noonday Blaze. Yeah. Because um, um, it just needs everything in any situation. I um, will say that Sword, I've had years to think about this, I think Sword is bad. It's just straight <laughs> up bad, like... Might exist, so sword. 
Yeah, my, oh, no. I've had years of like playtesting and thinking about it. Sword is is worse than might, and also it's worse than bow, right? Because bow yeah. does almost everything that sword does, except out for a range of six hundred feet. <laughs> and and you know, further than that, it goes out to side oh, range. Right? No, sword you know, is the yeah. human fighter of words. <laughs> right. No, a human fighter is actually really good in D anD. D. Some yeah, of the stuff right. is just yeah. situational. It's like, like the, let's look, take a look at the greater gifts. Shattering hand is amazing. It's one of the best things. Don't get me wrong. Did I put because again, all melee gifts are are now maximum, right? Or, or like all all melee attacks are now maximum, right? So that includes if you like wrath somebody, that's two on every dice, but you have to specifically be in melee. Right? Yeah. Outside of that, yeah. terrible. It's like Crimson yeah. Road. You know, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna cut through every every lesser phone near me take that you know and it's like well you know That's there's a lot of ways to do aoe though to mobs including uh you know what if you could just do that from anywhere with bow <laughs> oh <laughs> it, 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 it also sword has the most hilarious thing where like you know with the skyward you get the ability to fly just just straight up fly sword is like yeah you can fly but only if there is an enemy there and it's only at your regular <laughs> movement speed, and then you sort of gently fly, fall yeah. afterwards. It's like, do you want oh. the fly ability, but just objectively worse? Cool, here you go. Sword is baffling, because the only at, like full-on offensive gift that requires its weapon. All other ones don't. <laughs> yeah, and it just has a load of utility that nobody gives a fuck about. Oh man, do you want to teleport your sword back into your hand? That would be a really useful game if it wasn't for the fact that every single gift that gives you like a weapon booster usually lets you just use your bare hands or summon yeah. magic out of thin air, including the sword word itself, where it's like if you're disarmed, your bare fists just hit people. And it's, just, I don't know, it, I think there was one time it's... when I tried to theory craft a build around it where I'm like, ah, oh, what if I had a build where I used the default uh, Wrath gift from the general gift section? And what Here's... if I combined it with Sword, you know? Here's the thing, Marcus, the build is, you pick Sword at character creation, spend two points for Shattering Hand, and then invest in Might. Right. I will say, Sword uh, has like some amazing usage on npcs it, it, it can set the tempo of an entire fight because nine iron walls as they're trying to wail on someone as a party yeah uh and just nothing happens if they don't clock in that they need non-physical damage sword, you know sword has some combos it's just that they're so specific that i wouldn't even put it yeah. in strong with combo path through, path through war is kind of ridiculous it's thematically cool don't get me wrong but the fact that it's just like yeah you can't do anything against them though yeah i th i think the way that i would think about uh the sword word is whenever you start to theory craft a good sword build because you think like maybe it's actually really good you always hit a point halfway through it where you go wait a minute I could just do this other thing that's objectively better, though. You know, like, I, I, for example, the whole thing of maybe I can use the Wrath with Sword and then I can maximize it. You go, well, I could just pick the Luck word and then I'll always yeah. roll, like, really good on my Wraths anyway. So Luck yeah. and Wrath is, if anything, better than Sword and Wrath. And it's just, you know... <laughs> strange, yeah. man. That's all it is. Anyway, it's not bitching about yeah. Sword. Oh, sorry, what was that, that, Sam? I don't worry. I'm sorry. He says it's. He says it's the ranger of of of. Uh, oh, Gotham. you're right. It is. We like. You really want it to work, but it just doesn't. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Wait, this is yes. rather unrelated. But is this being recorded? Or are you guys doing no. this? Right oh now? yeah, I'm super recording okay. it, but I didn't tell anybody. Oh. Um... Okay. <laughs> then in that case, Tyler, mind if I steal you away for a moment? I want to show you something abysmal I made. It should take thirty seconds. Uh, sure, no problem. It's only thirty seconds. Yeah. All right. Oh, anyway, right. Uh, theft. What do you think about theft? Theft is um, real cool, I think. Yeah. Um, oh, go on. Sorry. I think it's the best <laughs> stealth uh, word. Like, straight up. Interesting. <clears throat> like, you'll have one. I don't know if yeah. it's a, an action of a, or a constant that you can just walk anywhere and people will not bother or... talking to you, bother checking if you should be there. So you cannot walk up to a throne room look at the king, and just walk away and nobody will give a shit. Mm -hmm. I'm looking for it. That's um... also true of deception, but then again we've put deception in peak, so... Yeah. You know, I'll also have a look at Tyler's stream. So I would say that, that the default... As long as you don't 
Yeah, they're they're passive sh stealth. Uh, no chance of failure on passive stealth. As long as they have discretion, then it can be upgraded to worthy foes, which so, is nice. I would say that they have to be discreet. Theft, theft is basically a side grade of deception, where it has a lot of the yeah, same abilities that equal. deception has. Yeah. They're equal, where it's like deception has the ability of um, almost every gift that's to do with detecting things does not work on deception gold bound specifically, but it doesn't specify right. theft. Um, however, when it comes to the theft wood, it has like heist and hell is really cool, and there's some other abilities it has that are really cool. I think, so I would say I that, think the only thing that would border on an OP is the stolen crown. Yes, where you can rob idea. someone's ability, like yeah. their gift. I'm putting it in peak for sure. Um, I don't think I'd it, say it's peak, but it's peak. Yeah. Probably, probably on a fucking ban, the one where you steal somebody's abilities. If you can yeah, I it, like, like yeah, if, yeah. I I usually do. I just I usually just kick off no no stolen crown if someone's running thief. Um, yeah, because it's kind of it's kind of nonsense because they also can't use it. <laughs> until you use it <laughs> right so i have a suspicion you're gonna say time is peak but uh what do you think what do you guys think about time i haven't actually the, ever used it so i couldn't possibly say i believe it can solve every problem if you're smart enough <laughs> it's not as direct as the other really good ones but <laughs> I mean, you can just stop time, but what can can yeah, they do about it? I would say that you it's can't not... actually stop time with time. Uh... Yeah, very weird. You can only stop time with sorcery. <laughs> you can um... you can change time, but you cannot stop time. Yeah. What the? F God damn it! I know, time. right? Yeah, it's very odd. It's very odd. Um... Every time I see this book, I learn something <laughs> new that I didn't want to know. <laughs> It might I think it's worth that. I would yeah, say it's I, strong and that it's good by itself, and it's and it's also good in combo. But it's not like it's not on the same level as Sky or Sun or any of these gifts that just uh, totally blast the game out of, you know, whatever. What do you guys think? You... Where do you at, Sam? What do you at? Uh, I'm at twenty to four in the morning. Yeah, ah, yes, Sam very at, well. I like the way he but just made well. like a, a death rattle sound, like he's on his death. <laughs> like, oh! oh, yeah. I'm at 20 to 4 he, a.m. He's, he's a lich kink, so I see. he's very almost well. okay. Um, I don't know what to think about Underworld. I think Candle. Yeah, but yeah. Uh, I think oh, time time is at least uh, like strong rather than strong with combo. Yeah, I think, I think it belongs yeah. in strong. Uh, somewhere what? in the strong spectrum. What do you guys think about Underworld? Underworld. I've never seen Underworld in play. So let's um, just do a quick buzz through it. I don't really like it because it gives you better... Bur it, it feels totally unnecessary because the Earthward does a lot of what it does, but this gives you slightly more overpowered versions of what Earth does and is also less fun. It's it's like a try-hards version of Earth. Unworked stoner uh, Earth. Okay, <laughs> all right. So I like mean, a that's... stone wall you can't pass through. Yeah, so many builds of like bricks you can't pass through them. But if <laughs> you it's... can't pass through, okay. You, Marcus, you described Lex Kong of the Throne. That's right. really cool that, hard... that it, it can let you build a tunnel, but uh, Earth has better ways of building tunnels. True, true, you know what wow. you're right. That's cool that you can leave something solid behind so it won't like, cave in. Um, so... And then you can make it. Ca oh, cool, that's neat. That's, you, can, you can like cave it in on command. That's really neat. So Earth makes builds things easier, but Underworld does it with more utility after it's done? That's the gist of it? Um, just kind of worse on Cavern, right? Like, you could probably do better with that. I, I think it just focuses on Underground while Earth is anywhere. True, yeah, true. But I kind of feel like, yeah, I kind of yeah, feel like you know Earth... What? Outperforms it a lot. Looking at this, on like, I would probably pick Earth over it if only because Earth is more fun as well. Um, so what are we doing with Underworld? Um, yeah, I'm looking through some of these. Like, its darkness one is okay, I guess, but it just it just darkens so... light. So it doesn't even like make artificial darkness. <laughs> um, so it is sub night. It is possibly I... worse than night. <laughs> so... <laughs> I think 
Underworld has an app description. So, in Smash Bros. Ultimate, there's this type of character called an Echo Fighter, but it's just slightly different than another character. Yeah. I think Underworld is Earth's Echo Fighter. It's like, it's just slightly different. Like, that type of deal. Dunlock? Hold on. Uh, let me see. Whenever for the scene, target a visible creature or to a large mob. That's very nice. Uh, targets must save versus spirit or be blinded and overcoming with a terrifying sense of suffocating entrapment. Affected creatures are unable to perform any actions and can take a spirit save at the end of each of their rounds to break the effect. Lesser foes automatically take your character level in hit points or emotional damage whether or not they save. Uh, let's have it for the scene. Okay. So, against mobs, that, that's good crowd control. Because that's like a wrath that affects the, the mob until they save. Mobs usually have pretty bad saves. Um, it's just like a weird panic attack, but... Uh, Earth Earth just kind of does a lot of this better. Want me to put it in like, bad or strong with combo? I, I, I kind of feel like it's kind of bad. I feel like a lot of gifts, okay. there are a lot of words just... I, was completely, I haven't actually looked into it hard enough. I just assumed it was OP because a million years ago when I glanced at it, I was just annoyed by it. But you know what? It's probably bad. I agree with you. Um, Vengeance like, I remember, like... All right, <laughs> just next, so one. Peaky, next that out of one. Like, There's we don't need to that. discuss Vengeance. <laughs> it's the, what I no. love is whenever we oh. need to describe how Lexington is full of OP words, yeah. we just immediately go, so take, for example, Vengeance. and you know, Breaks the action economy, automatically maximizes a ton of damage, lets you no-clip even through realms after someone, so regardless mm -hmm. of any contingencies, they automatically win against you. It's terrible. Yeah. Uh, it, yeah. Uh, what about War? Uh, um... I, or, I personally, I would say... Like, I, I think it would be Command's Echo Fighter, going by my analogy. <laughs> yes, yes. Exactly. I kind of feel like strong with combo, because I've had some really funny moments of people finding ways to just invalidate war. Right. I think my favorite was the one where it's it has a mind control effect, but it only works, works against soldiers. <laughs> uh, and the player was just like, actually, I'm just a really strong blacksmith. I'm not really a soldier. <laughs> right. And it was like, oh... I, I like war is built around a single really good gift, which is the one where it deletes an entire military. Race. Yeah, and it's like it auto detects everyone within thirty miles that's in a mob. But if they're just kind of in a, like alone, uh, or with like a party, like a party of players, it can't detect them. Right, and um. additionally, <laughs> like... I find myself thinking about war. It's like uh, how to say, there's a lot of ways to deal with mobs of enemies. You know, it's yeah, yeah. general's escort, real cool. It's really useful. Um, so they have solid stats. They have some war. Um, it yeah. was probably designed as supplement for command. I am I'm surprised war hasn't seen more usage in our PvP games, honestly, because the general's escort alone can pull some work. Um, that is honestly one of the best gifts I've seen. It's one of the, probably one of the best summoning gifts in the system, honestly. Because it scales how many soldiers you are per level. Uh, and and by the time you're level 10, and, and let's be honest, no one's reaching level 10. But if you ever reach level 10, that's just an entire army in your pocket. Not nearby, <laughs> not in situations, just in your pocket, you know? Yeah. Um, and yeah. it's got some good, it's got some good um, faction buffing stuff with War Gods Chosen. So... It, it... I, it's one of the words to make the, like, um, mortal build, like, command, war, and something mm -hmm. else. Probably sun. It, you do, you throw everything together and, and, like, yeah, your mortals are really good. You are shit, but your mortals, oh boy. Um, that, being, cool. that being said, if anything's gonna knock it up into strong, it's Eater of Legions. Yeah. Eater of Legions can just erase entire parts of a combat scene gone yeah um but again like i've, I've seen, seen you guys yeah. delete uh many mobs yep, with like fire and, and death and, and all that. kinds of stuff yeah mm -hmm. yeah so mobs of lesser foes is not usually an issue anyway so it it, yeah. it is really strong though eater of legions is pretty rad uh what's next it does uh, come very well last with, like death or lich king <laughs> 
is wealth. Theater of is wealth, which I strong think with I, combos. But yeah, it's definitely strong combo. Like I can't, I don't have the heart to put it in bad because it's not bad, but it's definitely not. Oh, it's good not either. bad at all. Jeez, no, no. Yeah, um, it, it, with wealth, also, I would say that in terms of gifts that it has, that other, you know, that are super useful that other things can't do. I think the only gift that I looked at where I'm like, yeah, that's something it can do that nobody else can do is the one at the bottom here. Come on, what it's called. Prosperity is abundance. That's the only thing it can do that nobody else can do as well, if not better. Um, where it's literally money to power. Where if you're trying yeah, money to do equals a, manpower. Yeah. Right, where if you're trying to do a project where you're like, oh, I want to build a god walker, you can just buy a bunch of invisible workers to just do prosperity. I, I will work. say, if the GM is using the faction system... Wealth gets really, really high. Yeah. And really, really useful. I have never, like, if there's a wealth NPC or player supporting a faction, it's not failing. Mm -hmm. It's not falling. The, the only um, other, like, ward that has a lot of money potential is, funnily enough, Dragon. With Dragon's I've never, sword. yeah. Mm -hmm. Dragon I've is never. <laughs> I've never taken wealth without explicitly talking with the GM if they're using the faction system or not, and if the answer is no, I don't bother. Yeah. Um, because it, it has so much stuff that over time, like you, you can basically pick a faction and they are going to outperform their neighbors. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, yeah. But it's funny because it's like with. Um... How to say? Yeah, you were saying about dragon. If the player has wealth and dragon, they are absurdly OP, right? Because dragon produces non-magical money, and wealth can spend non-magical money to <laughs> yeah. do stuff. And so it's and this spend yes. non-magical money. Yeah, it's beautiful. Yeah, yeah. So wealth becomes almost overpowered in that scenario, but in every other scenario, it's just like it's okay. And again, in ninety percent of circumstances, you want to be picking artifice. Even in the situation where you want to do a load of logistical shit to buff your faction, even then Artifice is kind of better most of the time. It's just that Wealth has the thing where you can, like, as you say, buff a faction with Prosperity's Abundance and so on and so forth. So yeah, uh, yeah, I guess we've we've assembled the list. Yeah, it looks like Yeah, yeah oh, Sam, shit. if you want to, like, feast your eyes on this to see how your builds, your ideas compare, I don't know. That's about right. Interesting. <laughs> I I can't wait for this list to be completely invalidated by Crawford like two weeks from now when his <laughs> shadow drops five new wards. <laughs> you know, if he continue to develop this we game get, up, if we uh, can get more if we can get more Godbound content, that'd be great. Yes, unfortunately we never are because I think that we are some of the only people on the face of the earth who actually care about this yeah. game. Uh, it outperforms even like it, out, it. <laughs> it. It outperforms red markets. That's that's cool, oh, but I uh, <laughs> it doesn't it doesn't yeah, outperform I much. Even, I forgot you don't even like the game last year. We're the only server that that in, interacts with this game. <laughs> uh, what I should say. A good chunk of the posts on the Reddit are just people begging to play the game. <laughs> right. And what I love is that like I would love to run for them, but I already have a group of great reliable players exactly. who I could yeah, just fucking exactly. run for anyways. So. I feel sorry for them though, because it's like, where are all the GMs for this game? The answer is they're here. We've all got them yeah. once. Uh... <laughs> and they all play with each other. Yeah. And don't bother. There's this cabal of secret godbound GMs who never leave. Um, yeah. <laughs>